everybody. Today we're going to be making a drop down um, with uh, local variables, uh, creating a dynamic drop down. This is what it looks like. And because we have our fish fig pal, um, we're going to do select a pet today. So you can grab your fish pal here. I am going to anchor him down and we're going to get started. All right, I'm going to delete everything on my page. I'm also going to delete my local variables. Delete variables. All right, let's get started. So F on your keyboard, refrain. We're going to say 296 and then 48 is your height. Zoom on into this. Let's add a stroke. A gray color here. Round the corners to eight. T on your keyboard for type. We'll say select pet. We're going to make this an auto layout, shift A. That scaled back, we're going to put this back to fixed. Align it to the left. We're going to make a little drop down arrow by grabbing the polygon tool. Squeeze it up a little bit, change the color. Brow the corners to one and then command E. Turn it into a shape or a vector. Shift and rotate. And then put it into your um, selection here. Um, we want this to uh, set on the left and the right. So we're going to go over to our uh, alignment panel and then press X on your keyboard. And that um, creates spacing between them. All right. We want a effect of a secondary blue outline so i'm gonna say zero blur zero 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 we're gonna grab our blue color and make it a light version and then spread it out a little bit and that looks pretty good all right we're gonna make our drop down bit now so option drag we're gonna duplicate this we're just gonna name this dog for now we'll get rid of this um polygon so delete it Shift A on your keyboard to put an auto layout around the text. We're going to say fill container and align it to the left. We're going to give it padding. Let's say of 12 and then 12. For this frame, we're going to say six and six. That works. We're going to round the corners of this to four. And then I'm going to delete this effect on the second one. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. So option drag out. I'm going to fill it with white. And I'm going to make this a hoverable component. So um, option drag another variation of this. We're going to change the color to blue. Like a really light blue. So maybe this. Grab the copy, change the color to blue. Grab both of these. Make a component set. Shift E on your keyboard or go to the prototype panel. We'll say Shift E. Hover till you get the arrow. Drag down to the next frame and we'll say while hovering. We're going to change to frame four. Smart animate gentle. I actually want to go with, um, let's see, ease out. 300 on this one. We'll pull one of these out. So option drag, pull one out. Shift spacebar will let you preview it. So if I hover over, it changes our colors. Looks good. I'm going to move this into this frame up here. And make sure your frame, get out of the prototype panel, is set to a vertical layout. So you should have two. We'll move this over here. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to copy this one. Command D. In the middle, we're going to have no padding. So you just click on that, press zero, no padding. All right. So if I click on this, frame two, shift, spacebar. When I hover over, I should just get these um, different changing colors. Okay. So we'll move this up and that's going to be the um, bottom of the drop down. So I'm going to put these into a frame. 
Option Command G. Sorry, I'm moving pretty quick, but I want to get this video done under five minutes. Uh, let's move frame one above frame two. So it sits beneath it. Okay. All right. So we have that. We'll name this container by double clicking and renaming. All right, let's move on to our local variables. Now, just to mention local variables, um, to change different modes is gonna cost extra. So you will have to be on the pro plan. You can do it without this step, but this is for someone that has the pro plan to make it dynamic. So we're gonna go to local variables here and you can get that by just clicking off of everything. Local variables, create a variable. We're going to call it a string. Um, mine's already been set up. I'm going to delete these so we can recreate these. This is what you're first going to see. So the name, we're going to say it's a uh, pet. And this will normally say mode. I'm going to just switch it to say select. The string value will be select pet. We're going to add another mode. We'll call this dog and the value will be the same. Hear that? The value will be the same. And in honor of my little fish, we're gonna make this one fish. And this one should be the same. Okay. So our variables are set up. Now let's add them on to our um, design. So command click on dog here. We're gonna apply a variable to it. We're going to call it pet. And right now it's going to the default. So we need to set the mode. So set up to pet. We're going to go to appearance and right here, apply variable mode, the collection, and we're going to make this one dog. So same steps for both of these ones, pet. And the mode is going to set to cat. More time, pet. Mode, set to fish. We're going to set this one to pet and we're going to leave it at that. We're not going to set the mode. All right. Okay. Duplicating option drag out again. It's going to give our duplicate. Um, we're making the first step of this. So while uh, press and hold command, we're just going to move this up to make it nice and small. And then I'm going to move the Y position just to hide it behind this container. And then we can also drop the opacity to zero and that might give it a nice fade in effect. Okay. Grabbing all of this now, we're going to put this into a component set and we're going to start to make the animation. So go to your prototype panel. We have this error here. That just means one's called default and the other one's called default. We'll just call this, um, we'll call this one closed. I'll we'll call this one open and that should help with that error. Okay. So, uh, when we click, so prototype, hover over, grab an arrow. When we click on this, we want this bottom panel to open up. So on click, we're going to change to open smart animate ease out. Well, let's change this to gentle and 800 should be fine. Cool. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. We're going to use the variables now. We're going to click in until we get this uh, box selected. Hover till you get the arrow and drag back to this one. We're going to say on click. Set variable to pet. Grab pet again. Select pet. And then because it says dog, we're going to select it to be dog. Okay. Same thing. Highlight. Push back. Set variable. Pet. Pet is going to be cat. One more time. Okay. Uh, one more thing. We're going to click until we get this one. Put it back over here on click. And just leave that as is. All right. We're going to drag this out. Option drag. 
put it into a frame. So F on your keyboard, put a frame around it. I'll make the background the same color as this. Shift spacebar, we can play it. Can select. And now our field is dynamic. When we click back, it stays dynamic. Pretty cool. Uh, there's one little thing. If you just adjust this to be the opposite way, let's do it one more time. That moves like that. All right, guys, that's it. Fast and easy. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.